This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Here's one from uh, Bobby Blue. What a great question this is. Now that all the billionaires are going to space, is Mr. McMahon going to become a space club billionaire? Yeah, we're going, uh, I think in February. We're. (laughs) (laughs) To the moon, Alice. I love that you're going to be in, in space booking fucking TV. Well, we, uh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. We've got to write TV. We've got to do creatives. So. God damn, pal. They don't have cable up here. We've got to get down. Ah, shit. Wi-Fi sucks in here. I thought the peacock knock would, uh, the peacock app would work better up here. We're in fucking space. Doesn't it all come from a satellite? Jesus. Right there. I can see the damn thing. <laughs> anybody, anybody got the password? <laughs> Here, Bruce, uh, log me in, Mal. Yeah. Uh, so great, dude. Christopher Wheeler wants to know what was Vince's reaction when Bischoff challenged him to a fight at Slamboree 98. <laughs> if you know him, give him a call. We'll just go fight in a garage somewhere. If he really wants to fight, I'll fight him. God damn. But he wasn't going like, to give them a boost. No, of course not. Yeah, I was like, Hey, we'll go to a parking lot. We'll go to a garage somewhere. She, she and I walk in, whoever walks out, walks out. You know, I know that, uh, a lot of times people say, oh, it's not personal. It's just business. And other people say, oh, there's nothing more personal than business. Do you think Vince took all the Bischoff stuff personally? Or did he realize, ah, this is just fucking promotion. Nobody cares. Yeah, it's both, man. It really, and truly is. I don't think he took the fight personally at all. Yeah. I think he kind of, you know, laughed that off, but it was like, a, you know, Vince would like to fight. Okay. You want to go fight? Let's go fight. Uh, Paul wants to know uh, when you would go out to dinner with, uh, Vince or maybe go to a bar with Vince and someone recognized him and asked for a photo or autograph, would he oblige or what did that look like? Yeah, he'd oblige. I mean, Vince always been nice to people when they come up and ask him for stuff. And, you know, unless, you know, you're busy or you're running and trying to catch a flight or you, you want to get out of Dodge and you're going somewhere. I think that Vince is always taking time to stop and sign autographs and say hello to people. Uh, Joe O. Miller says a lot's been said about Vince McMahon throughout the, his decades long run as owner slash chairman of WWE. He's always talked about regularly good or bad, but never indifferent. Do you think Vince is aware of the constant chatter about him? Not necessarily these days, but back, you know, we'll call it, uh, the, uh, the, the boom of the internet, you know, allowed wrestling fans to get online and there'd be chat rooms and message boards and all that jazz. Vince feels like a guy that, and you and I've even joked that he's sort of unplugged from all that stuff. Like not just that stuff. I just mean like how much does a gallon of milk cost type of stuff? Because he's so far in the bubble. He has a different life and he, he lives WWE, but he's probably not aware. in my, I mean, I'm just asking of this constant chatter. I mean, he, there's no way he could keep up or give a shit, right? Yeah. Vince was busy running a business. Yeah. There's didn't, your have, didn't have the, you know, the, the time. Oh, somebody said something about me. Does it affect business? <laughs> right. Yeah. Next. Yeah. Was it the president? <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.